Vasilikas. Guys, welcome to the show. Thank you very, very Thank much you. for having us. Thank Great you for you. bringing this plant-based empire to Dubai. And the hype I hear has been phenomenal. Why is that? It's been special. I think people are ready for something new. Our brand is loud, is proud. Uh, I think in Dubai more where we are in the food court, it stands out. And the product we're offering, um, I don't think there's there's enough of it. I think people are excited to try it because it is eye-opening. Well, excited to try it is the word. I've seen videos. Hundreds of people were lining up at the Dubai Mall store first day. Um, what was that like? What are they ordering? Like, What's on the menu to tempt people through the doors? I think what we found was there's a lot of new people that wanted to try things. And we were kind of... Le- we, we guide people, right? It's a new experience. They don't know what to try. They ask questions. And we always... As a first bet, you either go for the classic knee or you go for the chicken. I think that's an easy way to win people and get them coming back. Okay, what well, classic knee? Talk us through it. What are we having? Go on, Stas. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously we've got a soft and squishy bun. Squishy, I love squishy. the word already. <laughs> uh, our, our signature patties, cheese, signature sauce, onions, lettuce and tomato. Classic burger. People are always interested in plant-based food and the ingredients. So when you say uh, classic burger, when you say cheese, where do the ingredients come from? How, what do, what makes it? So it's all a variety of things. So from pea protein through to coconut oil, through to natural ingredients like quinoa that we put in our patty, and we all combine that all together to make a great tasty burger. You have to. It's yeah. bad that you have yeah. it, by the way. We're going to send We're them. We're going to have this on the show. We're yeah. going to have them on the show, guys. Don't you worry. <laughs> tell, us about, tell us about the empire. Tell us about the name. So this is the first outpost, the first international in the UAE, but you're very popular in the UK. How did it start? What's the story behind it? Yeah, so we launched in the UK, and it's been just over three years now. Um, for us there, we're on eight sites currently. Um, we've got a pop-up in New York, but we're open in the main store. So for us, to buy. It's really the first international opening. It felt ready for a long time. Since we opened, we knew we wanted to go to Dubai. It just took a minute to connect the dots. But that's yeah. huge. So we're always, we love Dubai. Obviously, we're very proud of the city. Why did you think Dubai was the perfect place for it? Like, why not Europe? Why not Dublin? You know, why, why Dubai? I mean, there's two, there's two very clear reasons. One, it's a tastemaker community. I feel like it opens you up to like a cultural hub uh, across the UAE and the GCC. I think that everyone, business-wise, everyone has to pass through it, right? Dubai is a pit mm. stop for the world. Um, and it just it felt like a really, really strong proposition to build our community for the brand. And I think Dubai brings the best out of brands. You know, you just want to do it better. Everyone's bringing yeah. the A game. It's certainly a competitive yeah. market. Yeah. Tell us about the name. Uh, neat. Uh, actually, at first, we called it Neat Meat. We decided to lose the meat. It was a bit cleaner, a bit confusing for first-timers. Neater. Yeah, it's neater, <laughs> right? Neat for us is just no meat. Mm. Neat is clean, it's ah, tidy. Ah, took me a second. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's simple. And you guys are co-founders. Yeah. We cannot True. talk about Neat Burger without mentioning <laughs> Lewis Hamilton is a co-founder. You have an investor, Leonardo DiCaprio. Is that true? Yeah, 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 we're really lucky. Tell me more. <laughs> well, yeah, so from our perspective, look, we, we've got a big mission, and part of having a big mission is having loud voices, right? I think anything, we're lucky enough to have such, such prominent stakeholders. Ultimately, all they want to do is, is kind of help us push the message. I think Lewis is, he could be just enjoying life, but he's, I feel like he's made it his mission, from what I see, Uh, to just push plant-based eating as much as possible. And I think that's I think that's what he cares about most, just making change and using his platform for that. And we're lucky that we could be a vessel for that change. Sure. But how does that um, how does that partnership come about? Is it a DM slide? <laughs> yeah, it was a definitely slide into the DM. It got, I don't know, is that no, what No, no. There was, there was a relationship there. It made sense. He loved the product. Okay. Um, and he saw the vision. much longer than, uh, I guess, before we had even seen it. He's been an advocate for plant-based diet, sustainability for years and years and years. So it felt like a good fit. I think any time brands have people involved, uh, it's an inauthentic relationship. Mm-hmm. Or, or kind of you have celebrities just jump in for the sake of jumping in for a deal or for commercials. It doesn't hold up. I think audiences want to see really engaged uh, ambassadors. That's you want truth. authentic ambassadors. Yeah, people see through it. 
Any taste of the burger and love this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, that's the real test. <laughs> yeah. um, so I think F1 is coming up in end of November, early December. Lewis is going to be in Abu Dhabi. Could we could be tempted to, just, to Dubai with some burgers? We could. The problem is we're bringing the burgers there. We've got a food truck pop-up in Abu Dhabi. Where am I talking here? <laughs> Come and try the burgers if you can't make it to Dubai. They're very, very good. Get the chicken or the smash. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. So pop up in Abu Dhabi. That's where Lewis is going to be. Yeah. Um, we're saying no meat. We're talking a lot about burgers, but I imagine there's more on the menu. There is. What else is going on? So we've got a variety of things. Obviously, burgers are the focus. Yeah. Our, our salad bowls, you know, the healthy alternative. If you want to eat, uh, you're on the bun. You want a bun free. We also offer lettuce free options. So we do a burger bun, the marrow of lettuce, which is great. We've got great sides. And for... Obviously, the Dubai market, we've introduced our hot and spicy range, which is really tasty and adds just a bit of depth to the burgers. Which to the burgers? Depth, flavor. Depth to the burgers. <laughs> yeah. And when you, order, when you go, what specifically are you guys ordering? You know what the problem with us is? When we sit and we do tastings with the team, we don't have the luxury of ordering. We just get... We, I mean, we eat. You have the luxury of ordering. No, 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 we don't. We get force... Well, I'd say force fed. Sometimes I'll double down. But we'll, yeah. we'll go through the menu a lot. One thing we want to always ask people who are, I guess, um, expanding, how do you ensure that you're going to have consistency across the board as you grow? I think there's a couple of things um, that really count. The first is having a great team, a team that's aligned with the product and the vision, particularly when it comes to things like customer service. Ultimately, if you, don't, if you stop prioritizing the customer, you, you lose that. I, mean, I think we've seen in lots of brands where they just... They focus on the commercials and tra- they make everything transactional, right? Mm-hmm. And they're not worried about the customer and the product, which leads to the second point. I think product is super important. So I think one of the big things we switched from using central processing units very early on, because using third party co packers and shipping out directly to stores allowed us to have quality control and consistency. When you go to a neat in Dubai, or if you go at F1 or in the London store, you want to have the same experience, right? I think that's something, I mean, Stas, the team back in London, they work so hard on getting right. And you can tell now because the product, it's a very weird feeling from once you start the brand to being able to sit in Dubai with a whole new team, whole new restaurant and feel like you're getting the same experience. It's, It's happy. Descri- I was going to say, describe the experience for someone to arrive into the new location of Dubai Mall. What is it like? It's, it pops. You know, when you walk past, it really stands out. You get served by a great, one of the team members with a great smile on their face. You know, walk over to the counter. Everyone's there to explain what Need Burger is, what you should order, what their favorites are. You know, service with a smile, grab your burger, enjoy it. And, and that's a great experience. Do you know what you see a lot of? Because I've just been sitting there the last few yeah. days. And it's one of the best experiences. There's so many people that haven't tried plant-based products, right? catching that reaction the first time where people are confused. Is it me? Am I being tricked? What's in this? And that's, the, I think that's the best, like the neat moment. Confusing people, love it. Yeah, <laughs> confusing, that's exactly what it is. You know what though, I must say, Dubai is a city that we actually love change. A lot of people hate change, but we love change. And also we are very interested in reducing our carbon footprint, eating a little bit healthier, and that's exactly what you guys offer. So a massive good luck to you. Amazing new location yeah. down at the Dubai Mall. Do check it out. Um, very thank you to you guys. Appreciate so much your time this thank morning. Thank you on so the show. much. Thanks so much for having us. The co founders of Neat Burger. That was it for us on the Love and Dubai show. We're back with you tomorrow morning, same time, same place. Bye bye. Thank you. Thanks, guys.